Welcome back, Minecraft Vessus here. What I have for you today is a rather fun contraption. So, when I flick this lever right here, nothing will seem to happen at the start. That is until we place down a boat. <laughs> Ta-da! Ice appears under the boat. Now, for those of you who might not know, if you ride a boat on packed ice, it goes extremely fast, yeah. Um, at max speed, it can actually hit 40 meters per second, which is like 90 miles per hour, which is about the speed of a fully sped up Elytra. So yeah, it's pretty fast. Um, and often what you need to do in order to ride a boat on packed ice is you need to, well, get like a super flat world full of packed ice. But what if you don't want to make a super flat world of packed ice? What if you just want to do it on a regular world? Well, here's what I designed. So what it does is it targets all the boats and it constantly spawns ice just a bit outside of the boat so that the boat can ride around in this really fun way. Now, the cool thing about this is that you can make like these really cool shapes. For example, right now I'm going to make like a really wonky infinity sign. Oh god. I don't have very good control of boats fair warning. But um yeah, so, as you can see, I made, like, a very, very wonky infinity sign <laughs> right there. Wow, very lopsided. Um, ba and basically, um, so the way this works is, I'm just gonna turn it off. Um, what it does is it targets and actually command at all the boats, and it fills, um, the area around the boats with packed ice. Now, if you notice here, the, um, the Y positions are not relative coordinates. What this is doing is, uh, let me just turn this on again. If you accidentally place one over here, this won't fill the command block area. It will go down to, it will automatically fill the ground. So that's sort of a fun part that I made. Um, and basically, well, I'll show you what the rest do. Um, first of all, probably a very fun thing about this is you can ride around it when you're done making it. And if you're a bit better at riding ice boats than me, then you can probably ride these way better, because I am not very experienced, oh god, um, yeah, but you can also, there's a bunch of other modes, which I'll show you when I get back to the beginning, let me just quickly ride over here, um, right around, yeah, so there, I actually set up a bunch of different modes, because I'm aware, for one thing, a lot of people aren't very good at, um, making, oh, uh, about, um, People aren't very good at riding boats in order to make, like, ice tracks. Um, though, you can make pretty cool stuff if you try. So, um, this right here is the um, thing that just clears the whole slate, as you can see. Um, what I was aware is that people weren't always so good at that. So, what I did is I made this. So, you can fly around, and it automatically will make the ice tracks. So, you can make a much better looking infinity sign, which I'll do right now. And it looks a lot better because I'm very sloppy when riding an ice boat. Um, so as you can see, I'm just going to connect it over here. Mm, there, around there. That's good. So, let me just turn that off. And there we go. Now we have a better looking. Wow, that really looks like an 8, actually. Um, and also, like an infinity sign. And this is probably, this is usually a bit easier to ride considering, well, I'm better at controlling when I'm just flying around, so it's a bit easier to ride. It's still not very easy just because I'm, well, I'm not very good at riding a boat, but, um, yeah, it's, uh, this is just a pretty fun thing to do. I'll show you the two other modes that I set up. Um, what these two other command blocks right here do is this is, uh, let me just clear it again. This is one where you can <laughs> ride water, or you can do water, you, you can make a water track, so... This one, you can do it with your, uh, by just flying around, because people find it often easier just to fly around and make the tracks, like that. And, booyah, now you have a water track made for you. Um, and another one is, do it, is making one by boat. Oop, I just made two boats. Um, which is very fun. It's not as fast, though. You can only go about seven blocks per second which, compared to an ice boat, is tiny. Um, but this one is also pretty fun to ride around in, because boats were originally meant for water, and it's a lot easier to control if I show you me riding it. So, yeah, this is a pretty fun tool for map makers, 
And yeah, the way it works is very, very simple. Um, in each of these things, these target either a boat or the nearest player. And what they do is they fill either ice or water around it. Or, I mean, uh, for these ones, it's water. Um, and yeah, it's a very, very simple creation. Um, but it's also very, very fun. This is actually an extension to a video I recently, sort of recently made, like a month ago, I'd say. Uh, about a, like a month or two ago, I made a video about what I call the Minecraft Elsa's Touch, which is, instead of the Midas Touch, it puts ice under you. And you can like jump around and it looks like you're Elsa. This is like an extension to it, except I um, thought about what if I can make boats ride it, because I knew that boats were way faster on ice. So I tried doing that, and um, unfortunately you need to fill a larger area, so you uh, can just do this. Um, now, if you want to do this in the nether, you can technically go 320 meters per second and reach the far lands very, well, not really quickly, but in 26 hours. But, um, anyways, yeah, this is sort of a fun little tool for map makers. Let me just load all this to refill it with grass. Uh, there we go. So, yeah, this is just a very, very fun little tool, and I guess I'll end this video by just making something cool with the boat. Um, Unfortunately, I can't write subscribe in a boat, but um, anyways, thanks everyone for watching this video. Please be sure to leave a like, comment down below, uh, or check out my other videos, and if you love them, then be sure to subscribe. Thanks everyone for watching. This has been Minecraft of Festus here, and I'm out. I will see you guys all later. Goodbye.